Hi everyone, this is Brady. So a few minutes ago, I was trying to model a soccer ball uh, for one of my projects in January. Uh, there are tons of um, resources and tutorials on YouTube talking about how to use Blender to model a soccer ball. So this is a kind of a trivial thing to do. But uh, um, yesterday, I started to know there is a modeling node, which is called a Soka. Uh, I'm not kidding. It's really called a Soka. S-O-R-C-A-R. It can do the non-destructive procedural modeling. So I was quite interested in such a kind of thing. And as I previously, I also know there is a node uh, which is called a Um I think it's done by Russian people. Uh, it was also a kind of modeling node. So I kind of interested in with all these kind of things, um, procedural art or so on. So I took a look to that. I wasn't quite succeeding in Svirchok for some reason. And I also was not quite succeeding in Sokka. But I... I'm quite um, attracted by the workflow of Soka, though it crashes a lot. This, this is a very important point. It crashes a lot at this moment, but I end up uh, have done this procedural soccer uh, using Soka. So I can show you how procedural it is. So you can change all this value easily uh, and extrusion. So it can be very fun. So I, I would like to share all this kind of thing because um, one thing, if, if you do not do that correctly, it crashes a lot. Second thing is there's no actual menu for that. As, at least I didn't find that the menu for that. I think this is still a pretty new um, thing. Not many people are using these nodes. Um, there's no menu for that. But uh, essentially, I also think this is very interesting to work with. So I, I would just uh, do this tutorial to teach you such a trivial thing, how to do a procedural soccer ball using soccer. <laughs> so let's um, uh, hide all these kind of objects and create a new tree. So I just call that soccer, uh, actually S-O-R-C uh, soccer. So let's just start. Um, the, the entire principle is that um, using soccer uh, is basically similar to what you do in the regular model in the traditional modeling so first thing we need to do is echo sphere and you take the resolution to uh, one uh, one important thing is once you hit the set previews it automatically output an object so you don't need a, an additional node to output anything you just need to hit set preview and uh, the, this node will instantaneously becomes blue next step is actually bevel Uh, vertex only and only bevel and remember to set the previews and the bevel so you'll not get a 55555 five, 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 five. and at this moment if you um, turn on the overlay and now if you go to edit mode you can see it's actually basically doing what you do in edit mode to bevel all these kind of things so it's it's basically a using programming or using a node as a programming tool to tell the software uh, how to do these things um, by the computer inside of your hands. So now you select all these kind of things. Uh, at this moment, you can extrude the faces individually uh, and set the previews. So you can see it only affects uh, the faces that has been selected. And this is not what we want. Uh, but before we select the other faces as well, I want to use this opportunity to add a material. Uh, the material you, you have to create by yourself, and I pre created previously uh, in my example. But uh, in regular time, you just have to create by yourself. Um, for example, if you, del or if you just add a material, and now you set a preview, the material you just created has been deleted because you updated the uh, uh, meshes uh, with the node tree. So what it means is <coughs> unless uh, you change the names or duplicate another object, otherwise this object will always be subjected to the control of this entire node tree. So if you are going to make some um, large changes, like I, I need to specifically extrude these faces, um, once you hit a previews, it will update everything. Just be careful about this. Um, next thing is I need to invert the selection. So I need to select all and set the action to invert. 
uh, and I need to add another white material set the previews so now if we take a look into these things you can see we have black and white and now if we extrude it and only extrude white the next step is select all so now we extrude everything next step is about uh, subdivision surfaces so you just add a modifier and set the preview so now you can see we lack all of hard edges um, usually in traditional method next step what we need to do is to use crease uh, so you go to edit mode and you turn on the crease so that um, it will be hard edges um, and there's also an option so if you go to the M panel or you just hit the control H to uh, uncollapse to expand all these hidden options then you can see there is an option of use crease uh, but I do not find it an option to set all this crease. So there is a node which is called a transform. There is a mode which is crease. But once you set that and you, you try to preview that, it will crash your blender. So I think it's a bug and I reported that. Um, but currently it just does not work. So instead of doing that com in complicated way, I just switch, switch that to simple. Um, because the thing I want is actually all this subdivision in the center of all these polygons. So that next step, I can use a custom modifier. And uh, basically this is done. Now you have a soccer ball. Uh, of course you can see these kind of edges are kind of sharp. So you cannot use shade smooth because if you just uh, switch preview it also update everything so there's a node for that which is called shading so switch everything to smooth so now you finish this a soccer ball is done that's it very simple um so to change all these values because by the end of the day this is a tree um and there's tons of parameter so to uh, uh, to locate all these parameters and uh, you need input numbers to the socket and there's another numbers to the extrude socket and of course you just can hit n to like name that level another as height so let's set this um, uh, values again so I bevel that and then I extrude that this is completely procedural and you can definitely hide them Control H to expand and hide then this is done um, I think this is pretty cool uh, I do not really recommend you to use soccer in your workflow at this moment um, because it crashes a lot but the thing I like it is um, compared to Sphere Chalk uh, in my opinion uh, it's more straightforward because all these nodes if you realize they are basically the same name as you what you can find in Blender. So you, although there is no menu, but you just come up, you, you just start to think, oh, what kind of function I need to achieve in traditional methods? If I want to use a custom modifier, then I just search custom modifier, then it just pop up. And there's of course there's many other options to do more advanced function beyond what you can do with traditional modeling but this is the part that even i haven't investigated i just studied this for five minutes maximum something like that anyway i really like this uh but i do not recommend you to use this um intensively for your workflow for fun is fine and many many other things yeah whatever I just uh, uh, want to recommend you such a thing and due to there is no menu so I would like to introduce you anyway uh, if you like this add-on and if you would like to support also uh, you can definitely do that the download link is also in the description you can also support the author in the meantime um, anyway so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time